people will be calling you because they know you have the magic to make them look good. It's not magic, it's technique. I'm gonna teach you how to make portraits consistently every time. But more than anything, for Clay Blackmore, it's about a boldness of attack. It's about no wishy-washy portraiture. It's like, I'm gonna go in and make that picture every time because I can see the finished picture in my mind before I even start. And then the rest is easy. Come on, look at the loop shadow, see it? Right there. We need to separate ourselves from the pack and we can do that through graceful posing. Tip the top of your head to the left a little bit more and that's, that's refined portraiture there. Head and body to the light, back nice and tall. Look at the difference. And here's how a lot of people blow this picture. Gabe, lean out this way a lot and turn your nose back. I see that a lot. If you're out there faking it, the customers can see right through you. When you go out with that boldness of attack and that, that real warm, genuine smile and that passion, that's really what we're talking about here is a passion to do it right. Guys, this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where portraiture happens. Let me show you the lighting pattern. Do you see the little loop shadow right here under the nose right there? That's what I'm looking for. And I'm gonna share with you everything I know about camera position, camera height, shaping the face, and making beautiful portraits every time. You need to get that classical training. I mean, seek out those photographers who've been around, who understand lighting and who understand the way things are supposed to be because I think that's what our industry is lacking now is that, that formal education. My advice is finding a mentor. Be educated, I invested in education. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of great teacher. And when you look at my work, I can tell you exactly where that came from. These young photographers think they can fix everything in, you know, Photoshop. Yeah, you can't fix a bad photograph, right? You've got to make people look good. We're going to have templates in our mind, and we're going to see that finished picture in our mind, and we're going to walk in and take the picture.